Well, registration is now open for the 2022 season, only for the February window for Level 1 and Level 2. But uh, now that it's open, we can talk about the uh, changes in 2022 over the 2020-21 content. It was um, held constant from 19, uh, sorry, 2020 to 2021, but 2022 has quite a few changes at Level 1 quant. Major revisions throughout, except for time value of money, but major revisions uh, throughout uh, uh, quant. Probability concepts, common probability distributions, sampling and estimation, hypotheses, testing, these have all had major revisions. And throughout uh, the readings, there is Excel uh, functionality given, uh, Python and R code uh, as well. Now, I don't, uh, uh, none of the LOSs uh, pertain to anything about Python and R. But uh, being that uh, we are given the function calls for Excel to determine the critical values uh, for T and for Z, for chi-square and for F distributions, uh, I can see at some point in the future uh, that the computer-based testing might have within a question a little snippet of Excel where you could type in if you needed a critical value where you could type in the function call to get the critical value. I don't know, but it just seems that uh, it lends itself to that sort of thing. New in quant uh, is a reading organizing, visualizing, and describing data. A whole new bunch of chart types are introduced in this reading. And this uh, was at level two, uh, is being brought down to level one now, introduction to linear regression. So quant has had a major uh, facelift and brought more into uh, the current environment we're in by including the Python and the R code snippets to uh, run different, uh, uh, run different um, uh, statistical analysis. Economics, there has been updates to two readings, aggregate output, prices, and economic growth. The whole ISLM model, which was derived, uh, is now gone, and just the conclusions of the ISLM model are presented. And uh, an update to the reading, understanding business cycles. In FRA, pretty much the same, except uh, there has been an update to long-term liabilities. The section on leases in there has been significantly enhanced. Uh, corporate finance, major revisions to all readings, except uh, measures of leverage. And I think one of the readings from level two has been brought down to level one for capital budgeting. Uh, but major revisions uh, within corporate finance. Getting into the asset classes now, equity, uh, not much changes here. Uh, there was a revision to the reading, introduction to industry and company analysis. For fixed income, major revisions across all the readings. And this happened uh, at level two as well, major revisions right across fixed income. Alternative investments, uh, major revision. Uh, and there's only one reading uh, at uh, level one for alternative investments, and it's had a major uh, revision as well. Derivatives, no change. Uh, portfolio management, new reading, uh, used to be at level three, brought down to level one, behavioral biases of individuals. There is an update to technical analysis. Some of the crazier stuff has been taken out, which <laughs> let me tell you how happy I am about that. But some of the more wackier, crazier stuff has been taken out. Uh, and basics of portfolio planning and construction has had a revision as well. In ethics, GIPS uh, has uh, had an update. And uh, there is a new reading uh, application, uh, uh, applications uh, uh, of uh, ethical, uh, ethical principles, uh, and that's new uh, there. So almost every section, except derivatives, has had some sort of change. Uh, some sections like quant and fixed income and alternative investments are pretty much you know, a, a facelift all the way through. Same with corporate finance. So four of the sections have been really, really enhanced. And uh, some of the other sections have been uh, have had one or two uh, uh, readings that that have had some revisions to it. So if you're relying on 2020-21 content for 2022, eh, you're going to be at a disadvantage in quite a few of the sections, especially quant, corporate finance, uh, uh, fixed income, and alternative investments. If you're still relying on the YouTube content, that that content is from 2017. I would say uh, from last year, the overlap, I think would I would have said is about 80% overlap from 2017 to 2020. I think we're down somewhere around 60%, 55 to 60% overlap with 2022 uh, at this point. There we go.